Hello everybody and welcome back to the series where we are in man all the Fire Emblem games. Uh, we are still on Fire Emblem 1, but not for long. Uh, this is the final chapter of Fire Emblem 1, so hopefully by the end of this recording, by the end of this part, we will be uh, past a game. It'll feel good to at least be able to say, welcome to the series, yada yada yada, Fire Emblem 2. So, we are very close. Um, now, I was thinking about sort of formulating a plan and exactly how I wanted to handle this. Um prior to starting recording, but I think it'll be a little bit more fun, because we may wind up, I don't know how long this is going to take, we may wind up warp skipping, I'm not really sure, so I think I'll try to, like, figure out a plan right now. The first thing to figure out is where everybody's going to uh, wind up going, because as I mentioned before, we cannot decide deliberately um, where units spawn, we can't move them around, but uh, the number at which they're deployed, so Marth is always one, for example, Abel is two, will decide or determine where they uh, where they spawn so um the biggest thing about this final chapter we can look around a little bit is that we're going to be spawning pretty split there's four different teams and everyone is in their own little room um and there's a lot of doors they're going to close so like for example this door will eventually close let me see what turn all the cl all the doors close on starting on turn three so doors start closing very very quickly now the boss is here and this is Medius. He has plus 23 defense with the uh, the Earth Stone, um, so quite a bit. Uh, but we do have the Falchion, which will deal effective damage. So that is my plan at the moment. Um, see how strong the enemies are at this stage. 18 speed. Looks like about as strong as they have been. Yeah, pretty strong, but not nothing too insane. One of the really nice things about this chapter, as opposed to the Shadow Dragon final chapter, is that these ballistas do not have a million billion range. Uh, there's a lot of over overlapping siege ranges in the uh, in the Shadow Dragon version of this map because of the ballistas, so it's really nice. And there's no uh, status stabs or anything. So, let's see. Marth is always going to be in the, uh, in the bottom down here, so he's always going to spawn right here. He is going to be with uh, Goda, who we're going to be recruiting, then Abel, Lena, and Merrick. Now the question is, I don't think any of them have door keys. Um, then number, it oh, looks like everything is pretty standard. So number five, so Harden, five, six, seven, and eight. So these four will be in the top left. That door is going to close on turn three. Then we have Katria, Tiki, and Chaney who are going to be in the middle area. I think that'll be okay because we have Tiki. And then finally we have Boa, Elise, Astro, Astrum, and Julian spawning in the uh, in the top right. Interesting. Okay. So th my first question is: Is Marth going to spawn with somebody with warp? And he is because he is going to spawn next to Lena. Now the question is: Do we want to warp skip or do we want to handle this normally? I don't have a lot of door keys, so if we handle this normally, it's going to be mostly up to Julian. Um, to open up basically all the doors for all of our units. Now, if we warp skip, um, Medius does not have two range, which is nice. I could warp skip. A, I could warp skip. I keep saying warp skip. I could warp and let's say like kill this sniper, for example, and then I could kill this guy with a falchion. That might be a good strategy. Maybe we should use that. Give me one second here. Uh, this guy has a mage stone. If we do warp, we have to make sure that we're we're prepared for the consequences. That is very important because there's no rescue. Okay, so that guy only has about 20 strength. This guy with the mage stone has 18 might, so that means 28. So pretty strong, but nothing like too crazy. Maybe warping is the best strategy. I think these are the units that I'm going to bring. I don't think I'm going to bring anybody else. Um... Yeah, because the only other thing that might be useful is, like, bringing... Nah, there really wouldn't be any use in that. We're also going to be bringing back to life Kane, so that'll help out the units in the top right. But I think we're good to go. I think I feel pretty good about this. The fact that Marth is going to be with someone with uh, Physic is really nice. I think we're ready. I think we're ready to go. Chapter 25, The Chosen Ones. Mars Lowell. Lowell? Is his last name Lowell? Is that what that means? You finally made it. I call you a true hero. Oh, Goda, 
Why are you here? In the past, I thought humans to be a foolish lot and cut off relations with them. But after seeing you, I see humans are not a lost hope. I am no match for Medius, but this old man can handle his lackeys. Go forth, chosen ones. Arishi is Prince of Light. Send the Earth Dragon Medius back to the darkness once again. Thanks, Goda. Okay. So Goda comes with Recover and Reserve, which I believe is either Fortify or Physic. I think it's actually uh, Fortify. He also has Tron and Worm, and his stats are really good. Considering there is no speed or no uh, magic in this game, it basically means he has capped all the important stats except defense. He also looks really sad, which is kind of funny. So, you don't have Warp, do you? No, he's the Gradivus, which I could give to Abel. Now, the question is... So, with the Miracle Sword, or the, the Merlinus, or the Mercurius Sword, that has 18 might. So, that means we're at 32 attack. 32 minus 11 is... Okay, so I can kill that guy. I think... Because I can't do it with the Fulshin. The Fulshin's too weak, I think. Because the Fulshin would only be... Yeah. So I do think I'm going to Warp Skip. Because the boss shouldn't move. So I don't think this is actually that dangerous. So I'm going to Warp you... Here. The fact that we... The fact that Gota came with Reserve is really nice. Because it means I now have Physic and Reserve. To potentially heal Marth if he needs it. This should kill. Unless we miss one, which would be unfortunate. But this guy doesn't even deal that much damage, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. I believe Medius does have... Let me check really quick. Uh, No, okay. I believe Medius does have two range, a uh, one-two range in the... Uh, in Shadow Dragon, but not in this game. Okay, let's start working toward... So we have... Oh, wow, this crew is super weak. Uh, I guess I can revive Kent and hope that that's good enough. It might act or Kane. It might actually be Kane is pretty strong. Okay. Wait. It says I can use it. Wait, hold on. What? Do I have to be standing somewhere specific? What? Why can't I use it? Or does? Wait, hold on. Does the person have to have, like, died on that chapter or something? Uh, give me one second. Maybe it has to be... Can only be used in the final chapter. Okay, but... Why can't I use it? Revives a selected ally. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know why I can't use it. I've used it in Shadow Dragon before, but obviously this is different. Um... Stabs? Let me see what Serenus Forest says. The um, staff. Revives a fallen ally, chapter 24 only. Oh, wait, is this not chapter... Oh, actually, wait, the last chapter was the only one that you can use it on. Wait, but I tried to use it and it wouldn't let me. Hold on a second. Okay, I just totally missed this. So the only... Okay. So, like I said before, in Shadow Dragon, in the remake for the DS, the way to get the Alm Staff is to go to that chest on the previous chapter, right? In this game, you, you get the Alm Staff automatically, but the only way to use it is to take a lease to that, uh, to that area. Oh, so we actually can't revive Kane. Wow, that's unfortunate. So... 
This team is really weak. Wow. Um. Uh. I could. I have another warp staff over here. I could warp like Harden over there. Or Rad. I don't actually think that's the worst idea. I don't really need the stronger units over here. Wow, I, I just totally mis uh, misunderstood how that works. You know, you learn something new every day. I think I may wind up having to warp Harden over there. I mean, I did warp skip Marth, and I do think that Marth can fight the boss, but... Hmm... So I have Linda and Wendell over here. Yeah, I'm gonna warp, um, well, I could warp... Actually, maybe I should warp Rad. Maybe Rad makes more sense. Well, actually, wait, does Rad more, make more sense? Actually, no, Harden probably makes the most sense. Like I said, I think we're okay with just letting Mar Marth do his thing, but just in case we're not, I think this makes a lot of sense. I'm gonna kill this guy. I guess I already moved both of my uh, like physics staff users, so... Oh, that's not gonna kill. That's bad, I didn't think about that. Uh, that's really bad. Uh, um... I didn't think for like a second that he he could actually take that. Um Oh yeah, this is really bad. Um He might go into retreat AI. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh <laughs> This is sketchy. Okay, everybody else just try to move out of here. Oh, actually, I can use Reserve. Okay, that'll heal a little bit at least. Maybe he'll go into Retreat AI? There's a chance. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of a weapon with Abel. I, I kind of doubt that this is gonna matter for anybody because, like I said, I think Martha's just gonna wind up killing Medius. Um, but you never know. Actually, wait, get rid of the Iron. That's probably more useless. And then I give him the Gradivus next turn, and I guess that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh wow, your movement's crazy. I guess I'll leave these two here because if he wants to attack one of them, that's better than him attacking uh, Harden. <gasps> okay. Oh, this music. Sweet. Because the thing is, in the end, it's only really going to be Marth that can deal anything to the final boss anyways. So there isn't even much of a reason to, like, not warp skip the- Oh, that's a dragon killer! Okay. No crit would have been ideal, but miss and no crit is, uh, is, is good. Ooh, actually... Okay, I've been on this, like, tirade lately about the, the weight of the Dragonstone, and that's really interesting what just happened, because we doubled. So I'm really curious to look at that. Again, this music is awesome. This should be fine. I don't think you can really deal much of any damage. Yeah, even a crit doesn't hurt that much. I wonder if that Wyvern next to, uh, or that, uh, Manikeet next to the boss will actually do anything. So Wyvern Slayer weighs two. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. It's not very much. Yikes. I mean, his hit is only what looks like 50-50, so... Okay, that's not good. Especially considering the fact that the Thunder... Well, the Thunder Sword deals a set amount of damage. I mean, I don't have resistance, but it won't kill me, yeah. Oh my god, I have to dodge his Silver Sword. Come on, Harden, I believe in you. That is a lot of hit. 
Well, bye, Harden. Sorry, buddy. Although, to be fair, Harden is the antagonist, uh, the antagonist of the uh, the um, the follow-up game, so... Oh, that's right. Oh, no, yeah. Okay, so the, the Falchion is only effective against Medi, it's not against all Manikeets. This guy's 12 defense, how much does the Mage Stone give? The Mage Stone gives plus 16, although actually somebody told me it only gives plus 15. So that means that this guy has 27 defense. Yeah, we're gonna have to use the uh, the Miracle. Uh, maybe I get a crit here, that'd be pretty cool. Wow, that is not a lot of damage. How am I gonna kill this guy? Okay. Okay, how much defense do you have left? Or how much health? 25. I could warp Goto over there. That's probably a good idea. What does he have? He has... How much hit does Tron and Worm have? Tron, which is Thoron, has 100 hit. And I do... That should be enough. Okay, let's do that. I think that's the way to go. Unfortunately, this means I'm using neither of my uh, my things this turn, but I think that's okay. We can go here. No, this is good because then he'll have a he'll have a healer in that room with him as well when I actually need to fight the boss. Hopefully, I can get the hits here that I need. Thoron. Oh yeah, my my hit is literally a hundred. Okay. Wait. It says wait. It said I couldn't attack. Wait, why why couldn't I attack? Oh my god, the mage stone negates magic. I'm a I'm a special person. I want everybody to know that. Oh my god. I forgot that's what the mage that's literally the thing that the mage stone does. That's really unfortunate. Oh, uh, this is not going that well, if I'm being honest. Oh, we can figure out the speed thing. How much speed do you have? 15 minus 2 is 13. Okay. So the weight could still be uh, what I said it was, and I still could have not doubled there. So we're, we're, still on, we're still on target for the the correct speed. So what I think, for anyone that doesn't know, I've been... Um, most resources you look at say that the Divine Stone gives plus 15 defense, but some say plus uh, 13, which I think is the correct answer. But the weight is what's really interesting to me, because... I've never been able to find a resource that says anything more than one weight. Um, that's funny, I'm going to have to discard that to get the Gradivus now. Uh, which is interesting because I'm pretty sure that it's not one weight or that it can't be one weight. Um, and what I'm think, what the, the idea that I have is that it's five weight, and I have a video that, that shows uh, a bishop that has 15 uh, speed after being weighed down. And I, uh, he doesn't double me, uh, and I don't double him with Tiki, which means that, again, the weight should be, um, five, because that was, that's what would take me down to 15 speed, so. Not that it really matters if I'm correct or incorrect about the weight of the Divine Stone from Fire Emblem 1, but I don't know, it's just been something interesting that I've been, uh, that I've been testing. Yeah, weapon level, max HP, okay. If I can kill this guy, then I should be in pretty good shape there. Oh, boy. Unfortunately, I have no warp here. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to just rely on... There's no way I think I can get Julian out of here. This this team up here just isn't strong enough. Maybe next turn I can, uh, can warp. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, maybe I can still kill this guy. Maybe I can warp somebody here to help, but this is just gonna have to be... Uh, up to them and then I think I moved everybody that I can oh except for you guys I think Tiki should be fine there oh you got a dragon killer that's nice 
Okay, I think we're good. I'm gonna grab my uh, my fan. Please enjoy this amazing music. I'm gonna grab my fan real quick. Okay, no dragon killer. Ooh, crit. We like crits. It's actually uh, quite a bit cooler where I am uh, than it's been the past couple of days, but it's still still pretty warm and a little humid, so need that fan. That's really unfortunate. That means that stupid Manicute with the Mage Stone will uh, get healed. Yeah, take four here. The Mage Stone guy can deal ten, it looks like, which which means I could die to a crit. But I think that crit percentage is going to be really low, so I think we should be okay. It's also kind of unfortunate that Gota has my um, Fortify staff, because I really want to be using it, but I also want to be doing things with Gota, so that's kind of a decision I'm going to have to make. Jesus, killing these Manakees is not easy. This is why you should load up on uh, Dragon Killers. Yeah, I don't even know if he deals any damage. I probably deals a little bit. They also all have the Mage Stone, which is really strong. The fact that I can't do any damage to the Mage Stone with magic attacks is really unfortunate. Because that's probably my best bet at uh, killing them. Hopefully that Manikeet attacks Marth. I mean, it doesn't crit him, of course. Do you also have some staff? Okay. Oh god, this is going to be disaster. At least I can get a little bit of damage here, hopefully. I probably even double. Oh, I have this stupid live step equipped. I always forget. I hate that. Oh my god. Yikes. Okay, door closed. Oh, the stupid mannequin didn't attack me. Oh my god. How do I kill this thing? I need to like warp somebody. Does anybody? Do either of you have? Well, you're useless. I could I could use the Gradivus. How do I kill these guys? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Go here. Get rid of this. And then I'm gonna give you the Gradivus. He really should have had the Gradivus to begin with, but whatever. Um, I mean, I could try whacking him again. It's just, it seems so pointless. Unless I crit, it just doesn't do enough. The Falchion definitely doesn't have... I mean, even if I had effective damage... Oh, no, it'd be 30, yeah. The effective damage would be pretty ridiculous. I could heal... Wait, it says, oh, you can use the falchion to heal. I'm a, I'm an absolute genius. Yeah. You do have a dragon killer. Okay, let's use that. See how much damage you can deal. A crit would be really cool. Yeah, very nice. So where are my warps right now? There's a warp here too, right? Yes, okay. So I could warp... Let, we're going to wind up warping everyone, I think. So let's warp you, because why not? I mean, we may as well. We're, like I said, we're, we're going to wind up warping everybody here. This is all about warp. We're, we're not doing this, this chapter naturally. There's just no way now. Should start killing these guys so they can't heal. We're gonna have to kill both of them so they can't heal Medius once we uh get to that point. Does anybody like do you have a staff? No, okay. I don't think bishops ever really have stuff. So this turn I'm gonna heal and then next turn I can warp. 
Uh, yeah, let's let's recover this turn. I'm also gonna fortify with Gona, but let's recover this turn, and then next turn I can I can warp Abel. There's no real reason to do it right now. I mean, he's so weak. Yeah. Do I not double this guy? Oh no, I think the guy healed everyone in between. There's no way I don't double. I mean, the the um the javelin weighs too much, so. Let's heal with Gota. Uh, um, I do have a Dragon Killer, but I don't think that counts for Mana Keats. Oh no, it does! Okay, well let's do that. The nice thing is that... Oh, very nice. The nice thing is that this Mana Keats, um... He deals, like, a set amount of damage, but it's only 7. Which, because these units are pretty weak, dealing 7 as opposed to what, like, a Silver Lance, for example, would deal is actually, like, not that bad. How much damage do you have? 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, cool. You can't get to me. I like that. Actually, can I kill you? I probably can, but I don't think it's safe. Because I don't have another way to heal, so you're just going to die to that guy. I guess I'll just heal you. For now. And then we'll see what we can do next turn. Like, not to be rude to those guys, but it doesn't really matter what happens to them. There's no warp up there, so it doesn't really matter, like, if they wind up being stuck forever. You know what I mean? It's all about Marth, Gota... Laura, and then eventually Rad will also be here to help. Oh, oh no, that's a sniper. Okay, I was like, now the Maniki wants to attack. The really nice thing about sending Rad over there is that he actually does have the, uh, the Dragon Killer. So he actually probably will be able to help me fight that Maniki. We should get rid of that Maniki so we can move on to Medius. And then with Medius, the biggest thing is just to keep him, to keep, uh, Marth at full HP. So that he can uh, he can take a crit potentially. That's the safest way to do it. That's the safest thing I can think about. And again, we also really need to go kill that cleric. Strength skill, max HP, great, love it. Yeah, this is fine. Take a bunch of damage here. I just need to kill this guy. I can actually probably handle the general with these uh, with these units. I mean, not like effectively, but I think I can probably do it. Okay, crits are cool. We like crits. So there's still doors closing, which means that we're still... What door just closed? The final door that closes is... So before the reinforcements start, which is turn 6... Is there a turn 5 door? There is a turn 5 door. It's this one. This one hasn't closed yet. So we still have at least one more turn before the reinforcements will start. That is, that is good to know. How much health does Rad have? 18 with 9 defense. My question is, do I have to heal right now or can I wait? This guy's 10 strength. The Mage Stone has... 18 might, so that's 28. 28 minus 8 I think is 20 damage. Yeah, okay, so I'll have to heal him, but that's okay, we can do that. We can just do that with Goda or something. Actually, I should have, um... Yeah, I should have done this. Oh, we, we can still make this work. Well, do I want to... Uh... I need to heal twice, I think, in the end. Yeah, so let's do this. Let's go here. We're going to reserve with him.
And then we're going to... No, not heal now, because you should be able to, to take a hit now. Yeah. We're going to use the Dragon Killer to see how much damage I can deal. Uh, it doesn't look like that much. Jesus. Yeah. No crit either. Oh boy. This is not great. Okay, and now we're going to heal again. Unfortunately, Rad will get attacked, but the, uh... Oh, you also have a reserve staff. Uh, why don't you use Recover, though? I think Recover's better. Interesting, though, that you both have reserve staffs. And I have Physic. I could also warp... I can use one more warp on Merrick. Or no, I didn't warp, um... I didn't warp you yet. That's right. That's right, we still have one more. So why don't we do this? And that way I can take this guy out. This way the Mandakeet can't be healed, at the very least. Yeah, let's murder this guy. Probably don't need to use the Gradivus here, but whatever. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and then Merrick can't do anything. Merrick just needs to stand there pretty for a second. Oh, I do have a Vulnery. Ooh, that's actually kind of nice. Okay, let's use that. It's weird that a Vulnery at this stage on a random unit is actually pretty useful, but it is. Um, up here, yeah, there's nothing he's going to be able to do, do now. Um, okay. I really hope you can one-shot. I think you might be able to. Even if he can't, it's probably still okay, but... Ugh. Well, I said it was okay. Yeah. Should be fine. Obviously, ideally, I just one-shot there, but it's okay. Strength, skill, max HP, and good level up. Okay, and unfortunately, by equipping a, a staff here, I lose the ability to uh, attack back. Also, I think Elise might get murdered here in a second. One, two, three, four, five. You only have, you have five or six movement. Actually, I think we're fine. So I've moved those two. I haven't moved Marth, but I can start chipping down this guy, I guess. Well... No, actually, I, I can attack. I can attack. I can attack. Even if I get crit, I'm, he's not attacking me back. So I may as well just take the damage. Like, if he crits, he deals 30 damage. But even if he crits, unless the sniper also crits, it doesn't matter. And the Mankeet isn't attacking me again. Or at least he hasn't been. So I think we're okay. And then, yeah, I think that's all I want to do for right now. You have... Unfortunately, I cannot kill that uh, that mana keep because Merrick can't deal any damage. Does the Falshian have any crit? No. So, okay, so here's how the Falshian's gonna work. Uh, the Falshian is gonna be effective against Medius, which means that its 10 might is gonna become 30 might. Now I have, I think either 12 or 14 strength. I think it's 14. Which means... Oh, you can actually take a decent amount. Which means that I'm going to have 44 uh, attack. Now, the Medius has, I believe, 35. Which means I'm only dealing <clears throat> 9 damage. But I am doubling. And there is going to be some crit, even though the Falchion doesn't have crit. So I should be dealing, you know, enough damage to, to, to do it eventually. And again, as long as I can keep Marth at full HP, he can actually take a crit from Medius, which is kind of crazy. Jesus Christ. That's a, that a lot of damage. Okay, was that this door? Okay. So next turn, the Manicutes are going to start spawning, which is scary, but we'll deal with it. So let's use the Dragon Killer. I think he actually might be one short of killing this guy, but I can always use the Gradivus. Never mind. Yeah. You go murder that guy with the Gradivus. Hopefully I can, but I'm just assuming that I'll be able to. I wonder if I can deal any damage to the boss with the Gradivus. Although I think the Earthstone means that you can't attack at range, I'm pretty sure. The Earthstone negates range attacks, yeah. So even if the Gradivus worked, couldn't couldn't do it. So you have recover. Do you also have recover? 
Yeah, okay, perfect. So go here. Oh, that's Linda. Oh, I want to use Goda, I think. So we're gonna heal you. He didn't take any damage, which is great. All right, let's start fighting the boss. Again, let me just make sure one more time. It doesn't really matter. We have to do this. So he has 10 strength. The Earth Stone has 20 might. 20 minus uh, 18 is 12. A 12 crit would be 36. So even a crit does not kill Marth here. And the crit percentage is going to be really low anyways. What the hell? Oh, he came out of the ground! That's awesome! Yo, he looks so weird! He's like a giant, uh, crocodile! He, this is awesome! <laughs> what? That's so goofy! I love it! I absolutely love it! Oh my god, one of the goofiest things I've ever seen. Absolutely amazing. Actually, I want, I want Linda to stay around here because we might have to heal twice. Yeah, again, nothing else really matters at this point, but I will try to keep as many units as I can alive, because, you know, why not? Yeah, Thorin, Thorin really has a hundred... Wow, okay. Okay, again, there's no way this is going to matter, but I will start opening up doors with uh, Julian. Actually, I should. I shouldn't open any doors, because it's just going to lead to character deaths. I could warp Merrick, and then Lena's gonna die. It just, like, does it really matter if Lena dies? That's the question. I mean, ultimately, it probably doesn't, but I don't want to just kill Lena. I don't think we need Merrick, and I don't want to kill Lena for no reason. So let's keep, let's keep her alive. Technically, Harden should be on the death counter. Um, I think Harden, is Harden the only person that died in this chapter thus far? I think he is. Technically, he should be on the death counter, but... Hopefully, we can just complete the chapter and it won't matter. Oh, he must still be one turn away. You rebels who've disturbed my slumber, prepare to suffer a fiery death from the flames of the inferno. Dude, this is awesome! This might be my favorite, like, final fight. Look at him, dude! He's a giant crocodile! He's, he's so cool! His music's awesome, too. Yes! Yes! We did it! We beat the giant yellow crocodile! Or it could be defeated by humans, but the heart, the Arishian prince whom light preserves one day, one day when evil consumes the hearts of men, my incarnation will appear. The heart, as long as there is light, darkness will never fade. Yeah, thanks, dude. Yes! When the Shadow Dragon Medius vanished, the Duruan Empire faded into darkness once again. The three years of warring in Akadea were finally over. And so Marth's journey has come to an end. Thanks to you, every, everything's uh, finally over. Your efforts have saved the world. But for you, the price to pay was too high. I am truly sorry. Nina, please don't say that. Sheeta's death was my own mistake. Oh, they're like, they're shitting on me for Sheeta dying. Come on, she sucked. But for a while, I thought she and I, even to my death, I won't forget her. Marth, I thought so. But don't blame yourself. Perhaps it's the same for you and me. Perhaps it's because it's because we both lost our loved ones that we could reach this promised victory. Yeah, it's really funny. Cave, yeah, Cave aside, both. So Sheena's really important because she's the one that marries Marth, and of course she's in the next game. And Harden is really important because he's the bad guy, and both of them died. Tragic as it is, this is the eternal curse of the Fire Emblem. I wonder what kind of credits we get. A long war is over. A darkness. Over the world is defeated. Yes! Martha and his retainers have just won. Is this Star Wars? What is going on? One of the legends of the Fall Sheen. Let's go! Because <laughs> the next battle has already started.
Feels good, man. Feels good. So this game was a little touch and go. I think the biggest thing about this game is it's not that difficult, but because of the um, but because of the crits, cast Mars. Jagan, is it just gonna go through all the names? But there's no like battles or anything. It doesn't tell you who died. Oh, Nina, what what order is this in? Jagan, Sheeta, Agma. Nina, Julie, and Lena. I guess those were the most important characters. Oh, man. Let me hear. Give me one second. We gotta do one more thing. There he is. Our last death. I know it doesn't really fit. Whatever. <laughs> He's down there. Honestly, Harden was, was pretty amazing. Really, really useful unit. Uh, but he did die in the end. Oh, it does, it does show you turns. Okay. Oh, this is the, the like, OG Fire music. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I love this. Really fun game, honestly. I like that these are, like, cut off. Pirates of Gar. Fire Emblem. Trap of Lefk. Yeah, re really fun playthrough. Really, really fun game. Um, You know, I, I, like, had I failed, I don't know if I would, like, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do if I, like, failed at some point. Because um, I I didn't really know if I wanted to, like, do it again. It, it is pretty slow and tedious at times. But I think all in all, like, if you like Fire Emblem, like... I don't know, you got to get through some stuff, but it's not that crazy. Like, it really is just a, a fun Fire Emblem game. Uh, I think part of it for me, maybe it was that because I have played Shadow Dragon so much. Uh... I did sort of know the characters to recruit, how to recruit them, stuff like that. Um, but no, fun uh, fun playthrough for sure. And it really gave me a, a really good understanding of what the first game's like and a lot of the stuff. There's a lot of things in Shadow Dragon that are like a little odd. Like the Resistance, for example. You know, by that point in Fire Emblem, units like were getting Resistance. Resistance wasn't some like faux pas thing like it is in this game where no unit ever gets a single point of Resistance. And in Shadow Dragon, units do have resistance, but not very much. Like, it's really low. And, um, you know, when I played that game, I was like, wow, this is crazy. Why did they make everyone's resistance so crap? But in playing this, it's, like, actually crazy that they even gave characters resistance. You know, in comparison to this game, where nobody has any resistance uh, whatsoever. Yeah, you can tell which chapters we did normally and which ones we warp skipped. I think the second to last chapter was the only chapter that I, like, fully warp skipped. I mean, I sort of warp skipped this chapter, although there was some complications in the middle, um, specifically at getting at Medius. I will say, I was a little worried about the final chapter. I think if you uh, are smarter with the... If you, if you have the VIP card or the membership card and you get the energy drops or whatever they're called in this game, the power rings, uh, for Marth... We would have been dealing, because I think he had 14 speed, we would have been dealing 6 more damage. Which means we would have dealt 15 damage and doubled. So, I think the final boss uh, is pretty easy, to be honest. I was pretty worried about it, but... I think it, I think it wasn't actually that, uh, that crazy. Oh, we get an epilogue! Go to, at Nina's request... He was appointed as Echenea's archbishop. Many people seek out his teachings. Uh-oh. Elise is Marth's last living relative. I don't know why there's letters everywhere. She kindly watches over him. Tiki, she's become more ladylike. 
Or so she says. Halifel in, in Caden. Oh, feels bad. It doesn't even tell you the chapter. Uh, is that it? Was that the last character? I think it might have broke. <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, I guess that's the end. I, I think it might have broke. But that's okay, because we completed the game, and that's what's important. Um, yeah, weird. I don't, I don't know what happened. Okay. Well, this is, I guess, we're going to we're gonna end it for now. Uh, like I said, really fun playthrough. Really happy that I did this. Uh, it, it just adds another Fire Emblem game to, uh, to the Fire Emblem Ironmans that I've completed. And like I said, I would really like to make this series throughout all of the games. Um, so next up, we're going to be moving on to Fire Emblem 2, which is Fire Emblem Gaiden. Uh, Fire Emblem Gaiden was remade into Echoes uh, for the 3DS, which I have played. So I have a little bit of experience with uh, Fire Emblem 2, Fire Emblem Gaiden. But uh, we'll see how much that, that translates. So uh, I do want to make a uh, tier list for this for this uh, game, uh, which won't be great because I've only played through it once. But I, I think it'll be a good idea to like a good way to get down my feelings on the game and stuff. Um, I also have a video coming out. Where we're gonna talk about some of the like interesting stuff from the game, stuff like no combat windows. I think it should be fun. It's just a way for me to uh, kind of talk about some of the interesting stuff in the game. So those are those will probably be the next two videos. I also might do a death compilation. Uh, we did have a decent amount of deaths, so maybe I'll do that. So that'll probably be the next handful of videos. But uh, after those are done, we'll move on to to Fire Emblem Two, Fire Emblem Gaiden. So if you're excited about that, look forward to that. Uh, but yeah, I, I want to thank everybody who, who stuck with me on this series and. And watched all the episodes. Uh, I like I said, I've had a ton of fun with this, and I really hope you have as well. So uh, that's it for the for Fire Emblem One. Thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you next time.